Welcome, everybody. I am so excited to be here with you all today. Uh, I want to actually start uh, this morning. I've been, I've been informed that this kind of looks like a wedding altar, so I want to <laughs> go on that theme. And I want to tell you a personal story. I got married during the pandemic. And over the course of planning it, everything that could go wrong uh, did go wrong. In the end, um, Anna and I, my now wife, uh, we said, look, all we need is three things. We need our family, we need a backyard, and we need wedding rings. But as it turns out, even getting the wedding rings was a really, really hard thing to do. So the night before our big day, the ring delivery was delayed, and we contacted our jewelry store in a panic. It was a complex issue. The person I spoke to went to the ends of the earth to get this issue resolved for us. And they got it done in time. They saved the day for us. We got married in our backyard with our family and our rings, and I think the cutest dog in the world who came and sat next to us. And it was a really genuinely special day. Now, to the store, this was a customer service issue. But for me, it was genuinely one of the most important days and moments of my life. And I, I share that because I think all of us here in the CX industry can forget sometimes that our work is really important. It affects real people's lives. Your work really matters. I also share this because two years ago, it would have been impossible for a chatbot to resolve my issue. There were no flows, no scripts that the business could have built to anticipate the issue that I had. It required human reasoning to resolve it. And that idea of it requiring human reasoning has stuck with me since then. In order for AI to resolve issues like mine, it needs to be able to reason. Now, it is just incredible how quickly AI is progressing. I think we can all feel that in this room. That's much of the reason why so many of you are here today. The technology that powers AI-first customer service, it's accelerated as much in the last year, I would say, as it has in the previous five. We spoke about that a lot yesterday in our customer advisory board session. We are living right now through profound technological change. And I actually think this, this change is so profound that it's important to contextualize it in, in the context of other generational changes that have happened before it. So I want to I ground this for us all uh, today to do that. 140 years ago, electricity reduced the cost of light. Before this, an hour of light cost $150. We take that for granted today. But because light was so expensive, businesses were mostly only open in the daytime. But after the invention of the light bulb, one hour of light became 95% cheaper, and the average business was able to be open to serve its customers throughout the day and evening. And of course, this changed entire industries. 115 years later, the internet reduced the cost of communication. Before this, we communicated through physical mail, fax machines, landlines, because the cost of communicating with our customers was, slow, was expensive and slow. But of course, after the internet, why is the internet such a big deal for us as in CX leaders? Well, because the cost of sending a message around the world becomes virtually free and instantaneous. This, of course, changed entire industries, but it also transformed the customer experience. Customers can reach us from wherever they want, whenever they want. Now, what does this mean for AI? Well, AI is reducing the cost of cognition. Before AI, before this moment, humans collaborated with one another to resolve customer issues. But now, for the first time in human history, it's no longer just human intelligence that exists. Increasingly, it won't just be people who are collaborating to resolve issues. It will be people and AIs. What does this mean? 
Well, many of you are already on this journey. Many of you are here because starting five, seven years ago, AI made it possible for a chatbot to follow a script to help customers. Before this, we understood our customer issues mostly manually. But after this, we built workflows, scripts, decision trees that trigger automatically when a customer intent is classified. The cost of understanding fell down, and our ability to help customers faster increased. And this created a better customer experience with powerful workflows that are triggered. But now, AI not only understands, it reasons. Increasingly, AI decides how best to resolve a customer issue without a script. It not only understands what a customer is asking, it figures out the solution path. And because AI is now capable of breaking down problems into component parts, just like our brains do, we've entered a new paradigm. This is the age of the AI agent. The AI agent doesn't have features. It has skills and responsibilities. It can follow company policies and guidelines. It can retrieve information from thousands of articles, PDFs, uh, web pages, documents across your company. It can speak fluently in a local language of their that your customer has. It can communicate in any channel. It can find the best person to help resolve an issue who's got the exact expertise needed to help. And it can teach you new things about your customers. It can take feedback graciously anytime, which is something that I'm not very good at, my team knows. <laughs> and like a human, and this is critical, like a human, its responsibilities will grow over time as it performs. Its responsibilities will grow over time as it performs and as your trust in it grows, just like your colleagues. Let me show you an example of this. Let's turn back to my, to my wedding, my, whis my missing wedding rings. But let's replay this experience now with AI that isn't limited to a script, with AI that reasons. That's Anna's hand. That's my hand. Let's imagine this now. The night before our wedding, my then fiance Anna, sends the jewelry store the same message. But this time, an AI agent understands it. And it doesn't match it to a predefined script, but it proceeds to reason towards the optimal solution. The AI agent understands Anna's question, extracts key information, references company policies and knowledge, identifies relevant actions it can take, and change the steps together creatively into a way that best resolves the issue for Anna. And along the way, it aligns its, response, its responses to the guidance its human colleagues have coached it to follow. And because it's reasoning, the final message is accurate, it's relevant, and it's safe. All of this in a few seconds. I'm super excited for you guys to see this in greater detail later today. Gauz is going to walk us through this with our product and, and, and in detail what you're going to see what this actually looks like. Because the AI agent is powered by Ada's reasoning engine. The Ada reasoning engine powers the brain behind your AI agent. It's designed to maximize resolution, to be highly coachable, so it's a great teammate that's always improving. And it's designed to future-proof your business so that you're always tapping into the most advanced combination of AI models. Now, we at Ada have been building at the forefront of customer service AI, as many of you know now, for eight years. And I can honestly say that the Ada Raising Engine is our most exciting innovation yet. In the last few months, we've put it into the hands of some of our, our customers, and their AI agents are starting to perform in a manner that is reaching, and in some cases, exceeding human agent capability. It's, it's remarkable. Now, I think all of us also know that the, these results are being driven not just by technology itself. We all know in this room that it's not sufficient just to set and forget your AI. Instead, 
if you want to maximize the results of your AI's impact, you need to treat it like an employee. That is the, the prevailing trend with AI that reasons. Because as AI reduces the cost of cognition, it's the companies that treat their AI agents like employees who are going to maximize the benefits. They are the ones that are going to be onboarding it like they do a new hire, who are going to be measuring their performance with clear goals, and are going to be coaching it to improve regularly. And we'll show you what this looks like later today. Well Simple, who's here and who provides financial services to more than 3 million customers and growing, they're one example of this in Ada's AI Agent in Action. And what they shared recently is that rather than thinking about answers we need to build, we can now think about the bigger picture levers we have to pull to create a better client experience. The leverage they get from their AI agent that can reason is tremendous. Rather than build new workflows for every use case, they teach their agent now new skills, and it can extrapolate from there. So what's the impact, though? Well, after adopting the reasoning engine and onboarding their AI agent, WellSimple is now resolving at more than twice the rate of their previous scripted approach. And they're doing that with higher CSAT and growing. That's continuing to increase. And I think the important point here is that we have crashed through the containment ceiling with AI agents that can reason. Scripted workflows are powerful. They can create a great experience. But they can only do so much when it comes to resolution. There's a ceiling on them. We're crashing through that now. To get results like this, and to get what are going to be even more profound results ahead, we needed a technological transformation, just like generations past. This is the light bulb. This is the internet. This is AI that reasons. And this is why this is such a big deal. This is why, as we've shared a little bit, we've brought everyone here today. It's a profound impact that's happening. And we're here together to navigate that AI transformation. We're here to share our learning, as we mentioned. We're here to enable you all to share yours with talks and workshops and discussions throughout the day. Because together, we're shaping the future of customer service. Thanks.